In this week's episode, Japan's controversial whale hunt sparks outrage, the Great Barrier Reef's worst coral bleaching on record, hope for the living fossil fish, and face to face with a panther. Starting off in Japan, where whaling boats have returned from Antarctic waters with 333 mink whales, including 157 pregnant females. Commercial whaling has been banned since 1986, but there is an exemption for scientific studies. And Japan claims that its whale hunt is for these studies, despite scientists deeming such lethal research methods entirely unnecessary. Staying with whales, necropsies of 13 sperm whales stranded on the German coast have revealed that the animals' stomachs were filled with plastic debris, including a 13 meter long fishing net. Although not the cause of death, the findings are alarming. Off to South Africa, where a lion called Sylvester has been recaptured after breaking out of a national park. This is the second time the industrious feline has managed to escape. Wildlife officials had announced plans to euthanize the animal, but retracted the decision after a social media outcry. Speaking of big cats, a woman in Florida came face to face with a panther on her morning nature walk. Panthers are shy animals, and this kind of encounter is extremely rare. And the discovery of a fossilized skull in Kazakhstan is making paleontologists rewrite the timeline of the Siberian unicorn. The well preserved skull was found to be about 29,000 years old, proving that the creature might have actually existed at the same time as humans. From land to sea with the move to help the coelacanth. It may not swim in American waters, but the famous living fossil fish has just been given important new protections, courtesy of the U.S. Endangered Species Act. It is hoped that ESA protection will help raise awareness about this mysterious species. On to Australia, where evidence suggests that the Great Barrier Reef is experiencing the worst coral bleaching on record. Coral bleaching happens when corals under stress lose algae called zooxanthellae that give them color and is caused by rising water temperatures. Experts say that it's too early to tell whether there is any chance the corals will recover. And these tangled porcupine fish will just keep swimming thanks to the quick thinking of this helpful human. With no scissors or knife on hand, the swimmer used a broken bottle to cut the line. Rounding off with this runaway koala, the furry creature blocked traffic and caused chaos along a highway in Queensland, Australia. That's it for this week. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.